My school crowds 1,500 teenagers into a few hallways and around a bow or two. Stepping into the building on the first day back felt like I had plunged headfirst into sensory disarray, competing with a thousand different stimuli from a thousand different directions. It was hard to feel completely at ease. I re-entered life more confident than I had been before, but there were still times when I wanted to shrink away, when there was so much happening that I didn't know how to properly comprehend. Sometimes I found myself reaching for the online communities I had discovered. At these times, I appreciated the slowness, the rehearsal of the messages we sent. It was a reprieve from the breakneck pace the rest of life had taken on. Hi, my name is Trini Fang. I currently live in and am from Crystal Lake, Illinois. I'm 17 years old, and the name of the piece that I wrote for the ISM Youth Files is called How We Speak Our Truths. I was really motivated to write this piece based on uh, the social anxiety that I felt after the COVID pandemic and how they intertwined with um, kind of the slight discrimination that I experienced in my community and how that contrasted between my online community and my in-person community, the one that the city that I live in. To me, my piece means a lot about how we can find different ways to communicate with each other. And it also speaks a lot to my values about mutual respect and really trying to give each other space, even if we don't completely understand each other's situations. How We Speak Our Truths, again, is a piece that means a lot to me because it was, it is a memoir about my own personal experiences. And it helped me kind of come to the conclusion in the end myself that I need to be able to speak up more and better communicate with others in order to really find true meaning in our interactions. Thank you.